Hey, what's going on? Luke here. Lately, I've been doing a lot of videos on State of Origin, and this one is going to be no different. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be picking the Queensland side based off New South Wales sort of selection process and, and their thought process, and pretty much just, just how Brad Fittler picks a side. Um, so I kind of just wanted to further prove my point uh, that I've I sort of made in the last couple of days where I've talked about the New South Wales selections and, you know, how they don't make sense and, you know, how they're so backwards and all this sort of stuff. And I thought, let's apply the same sort of logic to the Queensland lineup and just see what sort of lineup they come up with because I, I feel like it'd be quite different to the one that they actually pick and uh, I feel like there would be uh, quite a few players out of position or just not picked in general. So, uh, look, I've had an attempt at it. It's not going to be absolutely perfect. Feel free in the comment section below to have a go at it because I thought this was quite fun and also quite funny to sort of just just compare the two. Uh, but yeah, like I said, leave in the comment section below your, your 1 to 17 and maybe give an explanation as to why because I've seen New South Wales like to do club combos and, you know, stay loyal to players who probably shouldn't be there and, you know, all that sort of stuff. Also, where you go going ahead and leave in your comment, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video too because that stuff's super important. It grows the channel a lot and so does subscribing to the channel on the road 15,000. I thought I'd just chuck in Chuck in that sort of flow nicely. Leave a like and subscribe. Also, shout out to the members. You're seeing them on the screen right now. A lot of familiar faces. A lot of people who've supported me for quite some time now. Thank you to everybody who stayed loyal and who has supported me, whether it's through being a member or through being a super chatter. I techno been going off as of late. So shout out to you guys. Thank you very much. Also, my social media is on the screen right now. Just give me a follow. Give me an ad. Do all that sort of stuff. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. This 1-17. I've come up with it. Um, I spent a grand total of probably... Five to ten minutes, maybe, maybe a couple changes here and there, but this is the side that I've gone with. Uh, it probably will surprise a few, but also if you use the logic New South Wales use, it probably won't surprise um, anyone. So uh, I'm going to give you some logic uh, behind these selections as well. Not that there is a lot of logic in terms of form or anything like that. We're just going with the logic of, you know, club combos and all that sort of stuff. So the fullback, I did debate this one. This was one that I... I sort of, I wasn't sure. Do we do we chuck in a guy like the Hammer, who has uh, you know been playing quite well at fullback as of late? Do you go Reese Walsh with who they actually went with, playing in one of the sides who's sort of towards the top of the ladder? Do you go with Kalen Ponga, who's been there and done it? Um, he's played there before. Do you chuck in Cameron Munster, who fills in at fullback from time to time? I'm going with Reese Walsh. Um, I think Reese Walsh would have been picked uh, for New South Wales in terms of you know by their logic. Um, yes, he is a new player, uh, but also when we get into the rest of the side, you'll understand you understand why uh, I've picked Reese Walsh. Um, he's not the incumbent, but obviously in real life he played fantastic. He was in the squad last year, so they sort of hadn't had him in the thoughts. Uh, but just him playing at the Broncos um, in one of those top tier Queensland sides, I think that would have been enough to get him in the side uh, if he you know if we're going off the New South Wales selections. Then on the wings. Well, actually, you know what? Let, let's go centre wing pairing so you can understand these club combos. I've gone with Kyle Felt and Val Holmes on one side. Um, Kyle Felt, he's played for Queensland before. He has that club combination with Val Holmes. I can't remember if they actually play on each other's side, um, but that, that doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. It's as long as they play for the same team. Um, we've seen for New South Wales, they, they swap and change people on their sides. It doesn't really matter if they actually play together as long as they line up uh, in the same, the same team. That, that's kind of all that matters. Um, and you can even go through later in the side, maybe you, you, Jeremiah Nanai's maybe in the back row, link up with him. Um, I mean, I didn't pick him because he's only sort of just come back from injury, but I mean, Yusuf Wales probably would chuck him in there, I'm just saying. So yeah, uh, Kyle Felt, you know, his experience, he actually probably wouldn't be a bad selection on the wing, but just in terms of what they've got, you wouldn't pick him. But yeah, Felt and Holmes, um, the club combination there. Uh, and then also, I have chucked in Dan Gagai, been there and done it. Um, and no, I'm not picking him in the centers. I'm chucking him on the wing. He, he's played there before, so their logic would be, oh, let, let's chuck him in there. He's played on the wing before, and let's chuck in Kalen Ponga because we need both Ponga and we need Walsh in the side. Ponga was so good last year. We can't, we can't like not pick him. I even did consider him chucking him on the bench and then just don't play him. I mean, he has come off the bench before, but um, look, maybe he can come on and play a little dummy half from you know from the bench, something like that. But I think Queensland's logic would be. Chuck him in the centers. I know he's never played there before, but obviously that doesn't stop New South Wales. So, Kalen Ponga straight into the centers. I've um, never played there before, but whatever. It's what it is. And he's got a club combination with Gagai. He's passed the ball to him a couple times. Um, so, therefore, you know, club combos. Club combos for the win. Let's go. Um, halves, I've kept the same because it's like, no matter what, like there's no real good halves combos that are like for Queensland. So, I've just kept Munster and DCA. However, I did highly consider having... Uh, Cam Munster at fullback because I was like, oh, well, Reese Walsh, he's never played before. Like, New South Wales thing would be, oh, we can't pick a guy who's never played before. 
the logic in that, like, of course, like, they're never going to play if you never pick them. But, um, yeah, the, I feel like there would have been some sort of logic of Munster's played fullback before we chuck him in there, and we put Tom Dearden in because he plays for the Cowboys. He can link up with some of the other Cowboys guys. Uh, like I mentioned, Holmes and Felt, maybe a Nanai, maybe a Luki, whoever ends up in the side, you come on Hesses and such, whatever. Um, so I did consider that, but I just went, nah, Munster and DCE, they've played long enough together. They have a combo. It's kind of like when um, when Maloney left uh, the Roosters and, you know, Pierce was still at the at the Roosters. They'd gone to different clubs, but they'd been playing with each other for long enough that they sort of, they, they let it slide. They let it slip a little bit. Um, so therefore, that's the house combination. Then the front row, I have Flagler, Harry Grant, and Big Tino. Now, no Ben Hunt. Ben Hunt starts normally. Um, quite frankly, quite lucky to make the side Ben Hunt. He will be on the bench. I'll get to that later. Uh, but we do have Harry Grant there at the number nine. Obviously, he's there for his club combo with uh, Cameron Munster. Used to be a lot of um, a lot of Storm players. Uh, normally, I'd probably have Kafusi in this side, but he's like suspended, and I didn't want to chuck him in there. Honestly, I just couldn't remember how long his suspension was, so I didn't bother putting him in. Uh, but he's kind of too old, so New South Wales probably wouldn't pick him anyways. Um, so we have uh, Flegler, the young gun from the Broncos, top of the table, just going fantastic at the moment. So they're going to pick as many Broncos as they can, and I'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, but in real life, Lindsay Collins is there in the starting side. I've gone with Tino to link up with his Titans back rower, and that is Dave Hafita. So we've got Tino and Dave Hafita, and then we have Thomas Flagler and Kurt Catewell. So we have the Broncos boys, and then we have the Titans fellas. I was a little bit skeptical because I feel like Titans aren't a side that you look at and you're like, we need to pick them. You know, like just there's just some sides that you just don't pick from, and that sort of goes with my Ben Hunt decision. Like if Ben Hunt played for the Broncos or something, starting nine, maybe even half back, uh, you know, there's, there's plenty of options for Ben Hunt, but he plays for the Dragons, so... You know, New South Wales logic. Uh, I'm just thinking of the equivalent. Obviously, the Dragons, New South Wales pick a lot of Dragons players, at least in the past. But um, look, I'm trying to think of like Queensland. They probably would look at the Titans and go, nah, I probably wouldn't pick from them. But these guys are just, they're just too good at the moment. They're playing too well. So there's a little cl club combo for you. Uh, maybe could have chucked in a Philip Summy or someone on the wing um, who's played before. But, you know, I'm, I'm pretty content with the, with the sides that we've got so far. And then the third team, Paddy Carrigan, uh, he just, he kind of picks himself, but um, yeah, he's absolutely fantastic for State of Origin. Um, played the series last year, I think. Guy's an absolute animal. I have no problems picking Paddy Carrigan in like an actual squad and in this little sort of funny little squad. Um, the guy's an absolute tank. The bench is where things get interesting. I've gone with Christian Welch, who um, don't think really got talked about too much for the Queensland side. I thought it was a great chance he would have got pulled straight back in. But if you're a New South Wales side selection, you look at him and you go, all right, he's been playing for a bit. He's been there in the past. You chuck him straight back in there. Obviously, Queensland didn't do that in real life. Um, plenty of other options. They did pick Lindsay Collins. Um, he started for them. Obviously, he was instrumental uh, in the win, and he has been very good for Queensland for a number of years now. Um, I've got him coming off the bench because he's someone I can see them going like he plays for the Roosters. He plays in a great team. Um, you know, he's played for Queensland before. We'll chuck him in there. Um, and then we've also got Ruben Cotter uh, in the Cowboys system, trying to get as many Cowboys, many Queensland teams in there. So I think Ruben Cotter, uh, obviously fantastic player for Queensland as well. I need to mention that. Um, but he's someone who I think they would play. Although New South Wales, wouldn't be surprised if they would look at him as like the utility. Maybe he can come on and play a little bit of nine, be like the utility sort of guy rather than have Ben Hunt. Um, and actually at 17, um, this is going to be debatable and controversial. I did mention earlier Ben Hunt was in the side. No, he's not. That was just that was just trying four years, um, trying to suck years in. No, Ben Hunt's 18th man. Um, I know he's a lot more versatile. I know it makes a lot more sense to pick Ben Hunt. But we've actually gone with Tom Dearden because he's young and he plays for the Cowboys and he played last year and he's got a couple club combinations, um, you know. And obviously, if something happens, uh, he, you know, he's got a combo with Holmes and Felt. And um, look, he's probably played with Walsh or something like back in the day, or I don't know. He's probably played with some of those players, whatever. There's probably some sort of link up to some degree. Um, and Ben Hunt, like he's old and past it, and he plays for the Dragons, so um. Yeah, like he wouldn't get picked. And that's kind of just how things are uh, for New South Wales. That's kind of their logic. Um, you know, everything says Ben Hunt should get picked. Um, you know, he's a lot more versatile, fits the system a lot. Um, but no, no, let's not do that. Anyways, uh, let me know in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on this side? Is this is this somewhat realistic for like a New South Wales version? Obviously, there's just some things that you just can't match up uh, a like for like in terms of, say like the Penrith side. There's so many guys who who are eligible for New South Wales, whereas, you know, the Broncos, they're going well, but they got a lot of Kiwis, they've got a, new, a lot of New South Welshmen in there. Um, you know, if Adam Reynolds was Queensland, I'd probably go, oh, Adam Reynolds, Ezra Mann, there's your halves. But, um, 
yeah, like it, it is kind of hard to do a like for like, but I kind of, I just try to use some of the logic that New South Wales uses and you know, that's the slide that I came up with. Anyways, if you happen to enjoy that video, I know it was a little bit of a laugh, uh, hopefully a little bit interesting and hopefully you can understand where I was sort of getting at and you're not going to take this team seriously because I know this slide is, it's not what I would pick, it's not what the selectors would pick, it's just, it's what New South Wales pick, their selectors, but um, uh, yeah, look, I just, I thought I'd just make a little funny little video. So I uh, hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I'll save you the whole shtick that I did at the start of the video. Just go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Um, also, go ahead and chuck me a follow on social media. You're seeing it on the screen right now. It's Mr. Luke and YT. Um, TikTok and Instagram, probably the ones I use the most. So go ahead, give me a follow, give me an ad. And that's where I'm going to wrap things up here. Thanks for watching, guys. Probably uh, got to tone down the state of origin videos just for a little bit. NRL still here, so I've got to make some NRL videos. But um, look, this has been a great little period. Not great for a New South Wales fan, but... Look, it's going to be a great period. Uh, this probably next couple, next month or so. Probably, yeah, next month or so. It sounds about right. And uh, look, there's going to be plenty of videos to be made. So stay tuned for more, and I'll see you in the next one. There is.